Welcome to the video on how to fill an import transaction in VAT services on Amazon. How to fill in an import. To complete the fields when declaring import transactions, you may need to have your customs bill on hand. It will help you to fill in some of the columns in the additional VAT report. Open the additional VAT report and follow the steps to update the spreadsheet. You should download your additional VAT report for the current period by going to Reports, File your VAT, View monthly transaction reports. Click on Download additional VAT report to download the report. 1. Column C. Sales Channel. If the import transaction has been pre-populated by Amazon, starting with Aggregated Current Inbound, you should see Amazon as Sales Channel. If you would like to declare a non-Amazon import transaction, then you should use Non-Amazon as Sales Channel. 2. Column D. Transaction Type. This will be the import. You can see different examples that can be found in the same Excel spreadsheet as the tab called Transaction Type Help. Under the important Frequently Asked Questions, how do I report any imports directly into one of my subscribed countries? 3. Column E. Transaction Event ID. Use the customs bill number that can be found here on your customs bill. 4. Column J. Transaction Complete Date. The date of the customs bill, which can be found down at the bottom, along with the place of entry. 5. Column K. Item Country Manufacture. Add the manufacturer country to the item. 6. Column M. Total Movement Weight. Add the total weight of all of the items imported. 7. Column O, P and Q. Total VAT. Exclusive price of items, VAT exclusive of ship charge and total VAT exclusive of gift wrap. Add the customs value of the goods. Column R, T and V. Price of items, VAT rate percent. Ship charge VAT rate percent and gift wrap VAT rate percent. Add the VAT rate of the items. Column S, U and W. Total price of items VAT rate percent, total ship charge VAT rate percent and total gift wrap VAT rate percent. Add the amount of paid import VAT. The amounts in steps 7, 8 and 9 can be found on the customs bill. You can find your customs value in first column, the import VAT rate in the second column, and the total amount of import VAT in the third column. 10. Column AI, country of departure, and AN, country of arrival. Add the departure country, which would correspond to the last non-EU country from where the goods departed, the arrival country, which would be the first port of entry into the EU, and the postcode of the arrival country. 11. Column AS. Seller arrival country VAT number. Add your VAT number in the country of importation. You should use your VAT number that is declared on the customs bill and that can be found here. It will appear along with your company name. 12. Column AX. Taxable jurisdiction. Add the country of importation. 13. Column AZ. Import regime. There are three types of import regimes under which you may import your goods. Regular, postponed and exempt. You can identify it here. Select regular if you pay import VAT on importation. Select exempt if you are not required to pay any import VAT on importation either immediately or in the future. Select Postponed if you are required to pay VAT on importation, however, you are allowed to declare and recover it through your VAT return, or you will require a specific license to import under this regime. 
please note that you should select the import regime value which had been selected during registration or contact your tax agent to confirm a new import regime. That wraps up our video on adding an import transaction with VAT services on Amazon. Thank you and happy selling!